Anybody, no. anybody want to help me quickly? This, this, young, this young, young man with the van, Steve. Shirt. Okay, there. that's we go, Gabriel. All right, can you, can you just kind of walk around with this, kind of stretch it out? Bare ta strekk den ut. Because you didn't know it, uh, but this is your life. Dette er faktisk livet ditt. Right. Vet ikke om du var klar over det. This is your life. Dette er livet ditt. Let's keep going. Du kan bare fortsette å gå, Gabriel. There was, there used to be 30 meters of this. Det pleide å være 30 meter med dette tauet her. Uh, but I think I've cut 10 meters off for Men some reason. Men jeg har 10 meter av. But what I want you to think about is, this is your life. Jeg har bare lyst til at du skal huske på at dette er livet ditt. This is, this is it. I want you to think about Now I want you to think that though there is an end somewhere, I want you to think that it doesn't end. It just keeps going on. Og bare tenk, on. tenk på at uh, selv om det slutter et eller sted der, så, så fortsetter det bare. Det and går on. bare videre og videre. And it is eternal. Det er evig. You could wrap it around the planet. Du kan bare ta det rundt hele planeten vår. This is from God's perspective, right? Eternity. Dette er Guds evighetsperspektiv. It's a very, 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 very long time. Det er en ganske lang, lang tid. If you want to think about it in real terms, og hvis du har lyst til å tenke på det i, i ekte termer, we can kind of get your head around it. så vi bare får hodet rundt det her. Always having another tomorrow. Vi har alltid en ny morgendag. That's what the Bible promises. Det er det Bibelen lover. There's an eternity. Det er en evighet. You know what the Bible says about all of this? Vet du hva Bibelen sier om alt det her? That eternity. Den evigheten. In the presence of God. I Guds nærvær. There is fullness of joy. I Guds nærvær så er det en gledes fylde. Now as Adventists we know that. The Lord is coming. He's coming back. Og Gud kommer. Han kommer tilbake. He's going to take us to this beautiful place, eternal life. Han kommer til å ta oss til dette nydelige stedet, et evig liv. Always another tomorrow. Det er alltid et nytt morgen, alltid en ny morgen. The Bible says, ear hasn't heard, eye hasn't seen. Det øret ikke har hørt, det øyet ikke har sett. There's going to be planets there. Det skal være planeter der. I'll get this. Where you can go skiing in warm snow. Right. Det skal være planeter <laughs> Da man kan gå på ski i varm snø. Imagine having a thermostat on the planet. Hmm, what should we do today? Let's do, you know, 35 degrees and snow. Who says not? Kan man det som sier at vi ikke kan gå på, på ski i varm snø? Strawberries as big as your head. Jordbær som er så store som hodet ditt. Eye hasn't seen, ear hasn't heard. This is, this is it. Det er øyet ikke har sett, det øret ikke har hørt. Dette er det. Eternal life. Det er det evige liv. Except for this bit. Bortsett fra den her delen. We call this the red bit. Vi kaller det for den røde delen. That's life now. Det er livet nå. Uh, hold on a minute. Nei, vent nå litt. Eternal life. Evigheten den veien. Always veier. another tomorrow. Det er alltid en ny morgendag. And then there's... This. Og så er det den der karen. You know how quickly this goes. Vet du hvor fort dette går? If, if you are, you know, 20, 20, you don't get this yet. Det her forstår ikke du hvis du er bare 20 år nå. When you're my age, you begin to think. Men når du er på min alder, så begynner du å tenke over det. How quickly this goes. I remember as a kid being here. Jeg husker når jeg var lite barn, så bare, så var jeg akkurat der. What do you want to do when you're a kid? Do you know? Hva hadde du lyst til å gjøre når du var barn? What's your big dream? Hva var din store drøm? Well, to be big. Ja, det var jo å bli stor. My big dream. Min store drøm. As a little kid. Som en lite, en lite barn. Was to drive a car. Var det å kjøre en bil? They didn't have Teslas back then, but anyway. You, you didn't have what? They didn't have Teslas back then, did they? De hadde ikke Tesla tilbake da, men... Uh, det er noe greit. I sat in a Tesla today. It's very interesting. Jeg satt i en Tesla i dag, og det var interessant. Det var ikke min. Jeg har ikke råd til å kjøpe en sånn. I could only afford the badge. That's about it. Det eneste jeg har råd til å kjøpe nummerskiltet. I mean, I, I remember sitting in bed, laying in bed at night. It, it, in my house, we had bunk beds, a bed above a bed. I mitt hus så hadde vi køyesenger. So my brother was at the bottom, mom on the top. Og broren min, han var i undersenga, og jeg var på over, i oversenga. And in the middle of the night, I would pretend to be driving my car. Og midt på natta, så lot jeg som jeg kjørte bilen min. And I would change gears in the middle of the night. Og så, så, bytte, jeg, så bytte jeg gear midt, midt om natta. Mm. 
I had the fastest bed in the neighborhood, you know. Och jag hade den raskaste sängen i nabolaget. Then of course you get a bit older, you're about there, you want to get education. Så blir du lite äldre och så kommer du dit och så har du lust på en utbildning. Okay, and then we have to sit exams today, Simon Levy, right? Och Simon Levy, han var han hade en examen idag. Why because we need a job, don't we? Koffer, jo för det vi tränger en jobb, gör vi inte. And then we get a job, don't we? Så får vi oss en jobb. And then maybe we want to share our life with somebody, don't we? Och kanske vi har lust att dela livet med någon. And then we do that and then we want children, don't we? Och så har vi lust på barn. And then the children come and Och så kommer barna. Some of us are wondering when they will get older. Och så är någon av oss som lurer kan tid vill de bli äldre. And when they will leave home. Och kan tid kan de äntligen förlata hemmet. And then they leave home. Och så förlater de hemmet. And we wonder when they're going to visit. Och så lurer vi på kan tid kommer de på besök. And then they get grandkids. Och så får de oss barnbarn. And then we wish we were young. Again. Och så skulle vi önska att vi var unga igen. That's this. Det är er detta. This little bit. Den är lilla delen här. We need to work out quickly. Och vi tränger att tänka ut fort. Because of this little bit what's important. För den lilla röda delen här, den är viktig. You worked it out yet? Har du har du funnit ut av den då? One Christmas. I don't know how you celebrate Christmas. I love Christmas. Det var jul. Jag vet inte hur som du fäder jul. Jag älskar jul. It's my favorite time of the year. Det är min favorit del av året. Because my love language is gifts. För det mitt kärlehetsspråk det är gaver. And I look forward to them. Och jag gläder mig till jul. And maybe you have one of those Christmases where where lots of people come to your house to celebrate with you. Och yeah. kanske har du en sån typ av jul där massvis av folk kommer till dig. Oh sorry, sorry I forgot you were over there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> please come back. Jag glömde att du var där borta, sorry Gabriel. So yeah. right, we're all sitting around, you know, about 20 people in our in our little English home. Så vi sitter där vi är 20 människor i det lilla engelska hemmet. And you know, you get your present and then everybody watches you open it. Is that your home? Så får du gåva och så så ser alla på när du öppnar gaven. Är er det sån i ditt hem? Now when you got 20 people at home, that takes all day, doesn't it? Just du är 20 människor hemma hos dig så tar det hela dagen. So suddenly my daughter Bethany comes with the present. Och så kommer dottern min Bethany och kommer med gaver. And everybody's looking at me. Och alla ser på Simon. And the present. På gaverna. And I begin to unwrap it. Och så börjar jag öppna gaven. What you see here is what she's giving me this Christmas, a few Christmases ago. Och det du ser här det kan hon gav mig någon Juler sidan. She has burnt on leather some words that she knows means a lot. Och har bränt på skinn ord som betyder mycket för mig. Must have taken her a long time. Det måste ha brukt lång tid. Hon brukt lång tid på det. I got the paper halfway down this picture and it hit me. Tog han tog av papperet halvvägs ned över bilden och så bara slog det mig. And I could not. I saw the two pictures. There are two pictures there. Det var två bilder där. I'm thinking, is this a secret code from my daughter? Är er det en hemlig kode från dottern min? There she is on my shoulders one day when I took a holiday with the family, and she's she's on my she's on my shoulder. Där är er hon på skuldrarna mina en dag när vi var ute med familjen. Där sitter på skuldrarna mina. And there was that wonderful day I baptized her. Och så är er det en från dagen jag döpte hon. And these beautiful words are too much for me, overwhelming. Och det det här var för mycket för mig. Det var överväldigande. And when all these people said tears began to from me. Och så började tårar och rännande kinna. And I had to get out of there quick. Jag måste bara komma ut därifrån fort. I just stood up and began to get out. Jag stod upp och bara klarade att komma ut. I'm going to the only place in the house where I like to cry. That's my study. Och jag gick till det enda stället där jag liker och sitter och gråter och det är på kontoret mitt. As I'm leaving, I hear my daughter say to mum, to Anita, he doesn't he like it? Och när jag drog upp, gick ut därifrån så sa Bettan inte till mamma, mamma likt han inte bilden. It's not that. It's not that. Just wait. Det är inte det, det är inte det. Bara vänt. Then I heard my son. Och så hörde jag sönen min. He said no, he's just crying because he's seen the picture. He has more hair back then. Och så 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 sönen min, nej han gråter för det när han såg på bilden så såg han att han hade mer hår på bilden. Do you know why it hurt? I think you can guess. Vet du varför? 
Because I want to tell you, this bit is about relationships. You get it. For the at den røde delen her, den handler om mellemmenneskelige forhold. That's why it hurts. Det er derfor det gjør vondt. It's about time. Det handler om tid. It's about relationship. If you haven't worked this out yet, det handler om forhold. You better work out. Og hvis du ikke har funnet ut av det, så bør du finne det ut. It's all about relationships. That's why we're here on the planet. That's why God put us here. It's about relating. Det handler om forholdene. Oss imellom. Det handler om det å, å forholde seg til hverandre. It's about priorities. Det handler om prioritering. And I tell you, as you go through life, there are many things that steal those priorities from you. Og når du går gjennom livet, så er det mange ting som stjeler prioriteringene fra deg. Have you ever had something stolen from you? Har du noen gang hatt noe stjåle fra deg? Anybody? Noen? Oh, Norway is a safe place. Norge er jo et trygt sted. Listen, that, if I, in England, when I looked out at that house, that's my neighbor across the road. Når jeg så ut av det huset der, det var nabolaget mitt. So Sabbath morning, I just get, I'm getting ready for church, and there are two police cars outside their house. Og på Sabbath morgen når jeg skulle ut til kirka, så var det to politibiler utenfor huset. I wonder what's going on. Og jeg lurte på, hva i alle dager er det som sker? And so with love for my neighbors. Pardon? Love for my neighbors. Min kjærlighet til naboene. Or was it my curiosity? I can't remember. Eller var det min nysgjerrighet? Jeg husker ikke hva det var. I want to know why two policemen are outside my neighbor's house in my street. Jeg hadde lyst til å vite hvorfor to politibiler var utenfor mitt nabos hus. And what had happened was he turned up. Og det som skjedde var at han dukket opp. In the middle of the night. Midt på natta. He got into the neighbor's house. Han kom inn i nabohuset. And he took some car keys. Og han tok noen bilnøkler. Because the young girl opposite had just passed her driving test. Fordi den unge jenta på andre siden hadde nettopp bestått førerprøven. And she had a rich grandma. Og hun hadde en rik bestemor. Who had brought her a beautiful brand new white Vauxhall. Som hadde kjøpt henne en ny hvit Opel. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> Opel. Her. Yeah. They'd stolen the car. Og så stjåle bilen. Now he was a stupid thief. Han var en dum tyv. Because instead of taking it, you know, to another town. Så for i stedet for å stjele bilen i en annen by. He was caught the very next day by the police because he was just driving it around the neighborhood. Så ble han tatt av politiet for han kjørte rundt i nabolaget. It's not nice to have something stolen from you. Det er ikke fint når noe blir stjålet fra deg. You feel mad. Du blir sint. And then you become bad. Og så blir du. And then you're sad. En skurk, og så blir du trist. When things are taken away from you. Ting blir tatt vekk fra deg. There's a verse, John 10.10. Det er Johannes 10.10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that you may have life. Tyven kommer bare for å stjele og drepe og ødelegge. Jeg har kommet så dere skal ha liv. And not just any old life. Og ikke bare et bitte lite gammelt liv. This kind of life. Dette livet. You know the problem with us as Evan is sometimes? Pardon? The problem with us sometimes. As Adventists. Okay. Uh, we don't have problems. So sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, vet du hva problemet med Adventister er noen ganger? The problem with me. Problemet med meg. Is that sometimes I'm so focused on the big strawberries. Noen ganger så er jeg så fokusert på de store fortellingene. And the planet with the warm snow on it. Og, og planeten som har varm snø på seg. Sometimes everything is going to happen. Everything is coming. You get alt, that sense sometimes? Alt skal Every... komme. Alt er der borte. You know what we need to be doing? Vet du hva vi trenger å gjøre? And the prophets got this right. Og profetene fikk det her rett. The prophets said... Profeten sa, this is the biblical prophets. Och det är den bibelska profeterna. They said while we're waiting, mens vi väntar. I mean Jesus said this. Jesus sa också detta. Jesus said it. Jesus sa det. While you're waiting, mens du väntar. Why don't you take a bit of this? Varför inte ta lite av det här? And put it into that. Och putte där. 
Jesus said in the prayer, your will be done on earth as it is in din vil i ske på jorden som i himmelen. I could go home now. Nå kan jeg gå hjem. You'd be happy. <laughs> dere ville bli glad. Did you catch that? Fikk dere med dere hva jeg ville si? Something of this in this. Vi må ta noe av dette og putte det inn i det. There's a word called shalom. Det finns ett ord som heter shalom. You want a really deep Bible study? Start looking at the word shalom. Vi står lyst på ett dypt bibelstudium. Se på ordet shalom. It's not just a hello greeting. Det är inte bara hej och hallo. It's something much bigger and deeper and beautiful. Det är mycket större och vackrare än det. It means completeness and wholeness and restoring things. Det betyder en fullständighet. Det betyder att något är restaurerat. Yes. Mm. Taking the brokenness, the incompleteness and doing something with it here. Man har tagit något som är brutt och så gör man något med det där. So the prophets John the prophet would say, "Oh, one day there's going to be a time when there'll be no more death, sorrow or pain." Och Johannes han sa, "En dag så vill det vara ett et sted där det inte vill vara mer lidelse." Maybe we could do something about pain and no more tears here. Men kanske kan vi göra något med lidelsen och all smärtan akkurat här. And, and there's going to be this new earth. Everything will be created new again. Och det ska vara den nya jorden. Allt vill bli skapat på nytt. What we see in the future, why can't we as God's people as his church? Det vi ser i framtiden där. Put it in here. Kom vi kan inte putta det in här. And say maybe we should all drive Teslas. Kanske skulle vi alla köra Tesla. No, no, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is maybe maybe we can save the planet a little bit. Men kanske vi kunde bara vart väl lite rädda planeten. I want you to see that something of the what is coming. God is still working in our world as it is in heaven. Let it be a little bit of that here and now. Gud har nog för oss där framme men kan inte vi la noe ske her og kanskje vi la Guds vilje ske her på jorda. In other words, while we're here, please be a blessing. I and, med andre ord, mens vi er her, vær så snill og vær en velsignelse. We touched on that a little bit yesterday. Vi så på det litt i går. Be a blessing. Vær en velsignelse. We are the body of Christ. Vi er Guds legeme. There are things that can only be said through us. Det är ting som kun kan bli sagt genom oss. We are the shalom bearers. Vi är freds shalom bärarna. God said to Abraham, I've blessed you, you be a blessing please. Jag har välsignat dig, du ska vara välsignelse nu. And God gets really upset in the Bible when we don't become the blessing. <laughs> Gud han blir eh uh, upset, uh, han blir yeah. Ha? Um. Upprörd. Han blir upprörd när vi inte är välsignelser. I mean, he's getting upset because the poor aren't being helped and the needy. Han han är han är upprörd för de 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 fattiga och de som tränger det. De får inte hjälp. He even goes on to say in the prophets, I hate your feasts. Och han säger genom profeterna, jag hatar festerna dockers. I don't even like your sabbaths. Är lika inte en gång sabbatna dockers. Why? Kuffer då? Because you're not doing justice. För det dock gör inte rättfärdighet. You're not making a difference to anybody. Dock är det en forskel för någon. You're looking out for yourself. Dock passar bara på dock själ. If you want to worship me, follow my heart. Vis du har lust och tillbe mig, följ mitt hjärta. Even to the exiles in Babylon. Till och med till de som var i Babylon. That's not a nice place to be. Babylon är ju inte ett hyggligt ställe att vara. What are we going to do here? Vad ska vi göra här? We're not home. Vi är ju inte hemma. And so a message comes through the prophet Jeremiah to the exiles. Så kommer en besked uh, genom profeten Jeremia till de bortförda i Babylon. I love this message. Jag älskar denna. It was get out of there as quickly as you can. Det var inte kom dock ut av så fort du kan. It says build houses. Huh? Det står bygg hus. Plant gardens. 
Plant hager. Marry. Gift dock. Have children. Ha, få barn. Verse 7. Also seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you. I tillegg til det, søk fred og fremgang for byen der jeg har tatt dere med. Pray to the Lord for it. Be til Herren for byen. Because if it prospers, you will prosper. For når byen har fremgang, så vil også du ha fremgang. Seek the shalom for your city. Søk shalom for byen. You are in exile. You're not where you're meant to. To be. Du är er ju bortfört. Du är er inte där du var ment att vara. I tell you what, this is exile. Detta här, den rörgrejen här. You feel it, don't you? Det är er bortfört. Och du följer det, gör du inte det? Ecclesiastes says God has put eternity in our hearts. Gud har lagt evighet ned i våra hjärtan. That's why it hurts. Det er därför det gör vont. We don't belong in this context. Vi tillhör inte denna. Konteksten her. Sometimes life stinks. Noen ganger så stinker livet. Can I say that? Is that okay? Kan jeg få lov til å si det? Er det okay? Oh, this is not a, you know, somewhere over the rainbow kind of a message. Dette er ikke noe somewhere over the rainbow budskap. Yeah, you know that song, don't you? Dere kjenner den sangen, right. gjør dere ikke det? Would you like me to sing it? Har du lyst til at han skal synge den? No. Yes, thank you. What? Oh, you okay. sing it much better I'll, I'll than that. I'll play her for you. I don't even know the words. I just know the first line. Somewhere over the rainbow. Is that okay? Very nice. Skies are blue. Et sted over regnbuen, så er himmelen blå. Now, while you're here, mens vi er her, take a piece of this with you. Ta en del av dette med deg. That's why I've called you. Det er derfor jeg har kalt deg. Be a blessing. Var en velsignelse. You are my body. Du är er mitt läge med. Remember the mountain? Husker du fjellet? Remember that? Husker du det? Where he gave the great commission? Där han gav den stora missionsbefalingen. Where he said go? Där han sa gå. What did he say to go and do? Vad skulle man göra? He said go, gå og and make. Gå och gör discipler. Disciples. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. Just sorry. <laughs> I, I was over there. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. He's one of the best guys I've ever worked with. So much so I've lost what I was saying. <laughs> no, no, no. Disciples. He didn't go... Go therefore build churches and add members to your membership list. Han sa ikke, gå ut och få masse medlemmer in på menighetslista di. Oh we need them. Oh vi trenger medlemmer på menighetslista. Like to know where we are. Pardon? Like, I'd like to know where people are. <laughs> ja, det det er fint att veta hvor folk er. But he said go and make them. Make Men gå. You know what? You know Gör discipler. That time I was up here and I was reflecting on my own ministry. När jag var där uppe på fjellet och jag reflekterade lite över arbetet som jag höll på med. Something hit me big. Så var det något som slog mig. So I've just baptized you Anna Christian. Ja, så han har nettop döpt mig. I have been studying with Anna Christian for about 3 6 months. Every week I go and see him. Han uh, Han har uh, studerat samma med mig i tre till sex månader. And then I baptize him. Och så döper döper han mig. He makes a decision for Jesus Christ. Han tar en avgörelse för uh, Jesus. And then I take his hand. Så tar jag han i hona. I say congratulations. Och så säger jag gratulerar. Welcome into the family. Välkommen in i familjen. Hope you make it. Jeg håper du klarer det. Right? Two months, in, uh, two weeks in, he get pastor. You know, you used to come see me every week. I'm not just talking about pastors here, folks. I'm talking about relationships. Og så kommer han til mig 
to uker efter på så säger han pastor du plejde ju besöka mig kvar uke. You read the Bible with me you came to see me I haven't seen you what happened? Du läste bibeln med mig jag men jag har inte sett dig. Yeah but I've got other people I'm doing it with now. Ja men du skön jag andra folk som jag måste göra det samma med. God bless her a nice lot. Gud välsigna dig. And we leave it to chant we we hope don't we? Och så bara överlåter vi det till Do you know how many people we are losing from our church? Vet du hur många medlemmar vi mister från menigheten vår? When we put all the emphasis on decision making but not what Jesus said make disciples. Lägger vi på avgörelse och inte discipler. In a community of believers. And what does that look like? Ett samfunn av troende. Hur är det det? Hur ser det ut? Maybe as a community our time where it's never finished you know discipleship is really someone coming alongside another and saying what steps do we need to take together discipleskap en som kommer vid sidan av en annan så ser han bara vilka skritt är det vi tränger att ta samman what do we need to do to take that next step vad tränger vi att göra för att ta det nästa skrittet let's do it together låt oss göra det samman That's why we're in a community of believers. Det därför vi är ett samfunn av troende. There's only certain things we're going to learn by investing in other people. Det är bara eh så så kan du please repeat it. There's only some things that we learn by investing in other people. Någon ting tränger vi och lära samman med andra människor. There are two times in the Bible where Jesus said something was finished. Det är två steder i Bibeln att Gud säger det var fullfört. We all know the big one. Vi vet alla samman den stora. Where was Jesus when he said it the last time? När Jesus sa det den sista gången. Hant. On the cross. Det var på korset. It is finished. Det är fullfört. Question what was finished? Spörsmål, vad var det som var fullfört? What was finished? Vad var fullfört? Any ideas? Har du någon idé? Salvation. So atonement, salvation. Försoning, frälse. He came to save us from our sin. Han kom för att rädda oss från våra synder. Sacrifice given. Offret var gitt. Eternal life secure. Evig liv var säkra. The message given. Budskapet var gitt. I came to show you what the father is really like. Jag hade lust att visa dig hur sin fadern verkligen är. He's been misunderstood. Han är missförstått. He is love. Han är kärlighet. And I'll show you what love looks like. Och jag har lust att visa dig vad kärlighet ser ut som. Jesus is love in the flesh. Jesus han är kärlighet i kött. Where's the other time he says something is finished? Den andra gången när han sa något det är fullfört. This is an interesting study. Det är ett intressant studie. He says it again. Han säger det igen. A little bit before the cross. Lite för korset. It's in John 17. Det är Johannes 17. John 17 is the prayer of Jesus. Johannes 17 är Jesu bön. You remember what he prays for in that prayer? Hur skulle du kan be för i den bön? He begins by praying for himself. Han börjar att be för sig själv. Then he begins to transition and pray for his 12 disciples. Och så blir den övergång i bön till sina 12 discipler. And then he prays for us. Och så är det att han ber för oss. Sitting in Bergen. Som sitter här i Bergen. In 2018. 2018. As disciples still following him. Som discipler som ännu följer han. Jesus has prayed for you. Jesus har bett för dig. He's praying. Han ber. It's a chapter about discipleship. Det är ett kapitel som omhandlar discipleskap. And he says, han I sier, have glorified you on the earth. Jag har jag har uh, härliggjort dig på jorden. I have finished 
the work you gave me to do. Jeg har fullført arbeidet som du ba meg om å gjøre. Now, what work is finished? Hva slags arbeid er fullført? The cross hasn't happened yet. Korset har jo ikke skjedd enda. Something significant has happened right then and right there. Men det er noe som har skjedd akkurat der og da. Noe betydningsfullt. You know what I think? Vet du hva jeg tror? Jesus is giving us the one method. Jesus gir oss metoden. That's going to help us to finish this work. Som skal hjelpe oss til å fullføre verket. Jesus could have lived, died, resurrected. Jesus, han kunne ha levd, død og stått opp. But if he had not invested in a group of people. Men hvis han ikke hadde investert i en gruppe mennesker. Who he took on an incredible journey with himself. Som han tok med på en spennende reise. The movement, what Jesus started, would have finished. Så ville bevegelsen som Jesus har startet, den ville ha finnet. Slutta. Jesus said to his disciples. Jesus sa til disiplene. It is imperative that I go. Det er viktig at jeg går. You know what when Jesus left them? Når Jesus dro fra dem. The disciples didn't just sit there thinking, what do we do now? Så var det ikke sånn at disiplene tenkte, hva i alle dager er det vi skal gjøre nå? They knew exactly what to do. De visste akkurat hva de skulle gjøre. They needed the Holy Spirit. De trengte den hellige ånd. I mean, why did Peter and John go up the steps to see a, was it a, a lame man? Hvorfor var det at Peter og Johannes gikk opp for å treffe en lam mann? He says, give me some money. Han sier bare, gi meg noe penger. As people do. Folk spør jo etter penger. They said, we haven't got any. De sier, vi har ikke penger. But what I have, I'll give you. Men jeg har noe som jeg vil gi deg. Why was their default thinking, heal him? Hvorfor var det? Deres tanke at helbredelse. That's not sometimes my default thinking. Det er ikke min på en måte tanke at jeg kan helbrede. I tell you why, because I've seen Jesus do it. For de hadde sett Jesus gjøre det. And Jesus had invested in relationships over time, created spaces for them to interact with him. Jesus hadde vært sammen med de, han hadde laget tanker, rom over tid, og han kunne samhandle med dem. I'm going to finish. Jeg skal fullføre nå. Don't miss tomorrow. This is, this is part three. I'm going to add to this. This is so essential today. Og i morgen så er det del tre som er så viktig, som jeg har bare lyst til å føye til. If we miss this method, we miss how this work will finish. Hvis vi går glipp av metoden, så går vi glipp av hvordan vi skal fullføre verket. If we miss this, I say congratulations, welcome into the family, must be running now, hope you make it. Hvis jeg bare sier, velkommen inn i familien, jeg må dra nå, jeg håper du klarer deg. What's a disciple? Hva er en disippel? Let's finish here. La oss bare slutte her. I think the best definition... Den beste definisjonen is where Jesus called us or called them to be one. Er der Jesus kalte disiplene til å være en. When I look at that verse, I see three things. Når jeg ser på dette verset, så ser jeg tre ting. A disciple is somebody who follows Jesus Christ. Follows. En disippel er en som følger Jesus. They're imitators. They're imitators. They imitate. De er imitatorer. All right, they follow him. De følger. You know, in Jesus' time, a rabbi had such prestige. På Jesu tid, så hadde en rabbi så mye prestige. And a student who had shown himself worthy to get to the stage where he could actually begin to follow a rabbi. Og en student som hadde kommet seg opp på det trinnet da han faktisk kunne følge en rabbi. What would happen is that the student would go to a well-known rabbi and say, can I follow you? Det som ville skje var at en student han ville gå til en velkjent rabbi, og så ville han bare spørre, kan jeg få lov til å følge deg? And that rabbi would then interview that student. Og den rabbien ville intervjue studenten. How much does this student know? Hvor mye kan studenten? About the Torah and about all these things. Hvor mye kan han om Torah og alle de andre tingene? And if he kind of passed the test, he could come along. Og hvis han 
Hvis han klarer denne testen, så får han lov å bli med. If he didn't make it, he'd go back into the family business. Hvis han ikke klarte seg, så måtte han gå tilbake til familiebedriften. Isn't it interesting that Jesus reverses that? Er ikke det interessant at Jesus han reverserer akkurat dette? He doesn't wait for them to come to him. He goes to them, I'll have you, 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 you. Where does he find these fellows? Han venter ikke på at de skal komme til ham. Han går til de, og hvor er det han finner disse personene? To the fisher, fisher villages. Han finner de i fiskerlandsbyen. These are the people that ended up, you know, going back into the family business. They're the ones who didn't make it. Det er disse personene som har kommet tilbake til familiebedriften. Det var disse som ikke klarte det. And yet those are the ones Jesus said what I start you will continue. Och till de är er det att Jesus säger vad jag begynte det må dock fullföra. Here's the second thing about a disciple. Och här är er en andra ting inom en disippel. I will make you. Jag vill göra dock. You see this is your head follow me. Okay. I submit. Detta hode ditt följ mig. Jag underkastar mig. I submit to your life, your teachings, everything. Jag underkastar mig till livet ditt, till till läran din och allt. This is the heart. This is your heart. Detta er hjärta. I will make you. Jag vill göra dig. There's a transformation that's taking place. Det är er den er den er förändring som sker. What's the point of having all this knowledge? Kan vi inte ha all kunskap? If it doesn't transform us. Hvis det ikke forandrer oss, doesn't change us. Hvis det ikke gjør noe med oss, that I'm just as grumpy as I was last year. Da er jeg like gretten som jeg var sist år. And it's true. I've had to I've had to do something about this. Og det er sant. Jeg, jeg har måtte gjøre noe med det. I, I do it at Christmas. Jeg gjør det i jula. You know, it's the best time of the year to ask this kind of question. Everybody's got a lot of goodwill towards you. <laughs> og det er den beste årstiden å spørre disse spørsmålene til folk. The presents are coming. Gaven er på vei. So how was it living with dad this year? Så so kosten var det å bo med faren din dette my, året. One year my kids said dad you're too grumpy. Can you believe they said that? Og et år var det at ungene sa pappa du er alt for gretten. You know what? When I sat down og når jeg satt meg ned under the Holy Spirit <laughs> den hellige ånd virket på meg it was true. Så so visste jeg at det var sant. I'm working on it. Og jeg jobber med det. Something needs to trans- be transformed in me. Noe trengs å bli forandret inn i meg. And here's the last part of a disciple. Og her er siste del av det å være en disippel. You're going to be a fisher of men. Du skal bli en menneskefisker. You cannot be a follower of Jesus without getting into the mission. Du kan ikke være en Jesu etterfølger uten å komme inn i misjonen. Uppdraget. Because as we follow Jesus, we begin to care about the same things that Jesus cares about. De som följer Jesus, de vill börja och bry sig om de samma tingen som Jesus brydde sig om. And you know what Jesus cares about? Och du vet vad Jesus bryr sig om. John 3:16. Johannes 3:16. For God so loved the world. Så höjt har Gud älskat världen. The world. Världen. That He gave His only begotten Son. Och han gav sin son den enbarnade. God loves the world. Gud älskar världen. He loves your boss. Can you believe that? Han älskar chefen din. Kan du tänka dig det? Simon Levy, he loves the guy that will mark your paper in the next few days. Simon Levy, han uh, Gud älskar den person som ska sätta karaktär på testen din. He, lo- he loves the football players that keep beating your team. Han uh, älskar fotbollsspelarna som slår laget ditt. And you know what it doesn't just say loves the world. Och han säger inte bara älskar världen. If you were to turn to your spouse or your girlfriend and boyfriend tonight. Hvis du snur dig mot äktefällen eller kärleken din i kväll. Sometimes I do when I come home from a trip. Någon gång så gör jag det när jag kommer hem från en tur. Not as often as I should. Inte så ofta som jag borde. But I might come through the door and say to Anita. Men jag kommer genom dörren och så säger jag till Anita. I'm glad to be home. Åh, oh, det är er så gott att vara hemma. Really good to be home. Det är er så gott att vara hemma. I love you. Jag älskar dig. That's good, isn't it? Det är er bra, är er det inte det? Isn't that pretty good? Det er gott. I think that's a good start. <laughs> jag tror det är er en god start. But what if I came? Let me listen, gentlemen. Listen. 
Right? Okay. Herre, nå skal dere lytte. I love you. Jeg er glad i deg. Pretty good. Det er bra. Now listen to this. Nå hør på det her. Anita. Anita. I so love you. Did you hear it? Jeg er så glad i deg. Did you hear it? Hørte du det? Oh, Simon, you love ice cream. Yes. <laughs> ja, men du elsker iskrem. It's difficult to say, I so love ice cream. Og det er vanskelig å si, jeg er så glad i iskrem. God so for så høyt har Gud the world elsket that he gave his son. verden. At han gav sin sønn who put into place a method that will not fail som som fick i stand en metode som aldrig kommer till att fejla shows him what love is from beyond han visste vad kärlek var från evigheten and says to that group as he says to every group in every generation han säger till den gruppen som han säger till en kvar grupp shalom shalom your will be done on earth din vilja på jorden as it is in heaven som i himmelen och we'll talk more tomorrow thank you for coming vi ska snacka mer imorgon tack för att du kom